we are working our way through the fifth assumption that we have made to study international trade models. And under assumption five, what we have considered is, or what we have assumed is, each country has a fixed endowment of factors of production, and there is no technical progress. In order to understand the fifth assumption, we I introduced you to the concept of PPC, or Production Possibilities Curve. And a production possibilities curve is simply a collection of points representing different combination of clothing of food a country can produce given technology and resources. Towards the end of the previous video, I also showed to you that when we have scarcity of resources, we have a number of choices or options available to us. And that's when we are forced to decide. And once we make a decision, we give up something in order to gain something. And that is called opportunity cost in economics. Once again, what is opportunity cost? What you give up in order to gain something. And to make it more specific, in terms of our example, opportunity cost of clothing is the amount of food you would give up when you increase production of clothing by one unit. Or in terms of ratio, opportunity cost of clothing, or OCC in short, is measured as change in production of food divided by change in production of clothing. Now let us use the production possibilities schedule that we had created in the previous lecture video to calculate opportunity cost of clothing, which we know is a ratio of change in food divided by change in clothing. And whenever we refer to change, what we do is we simply work out the difference between two consecutive numbers. Now consider the following. Suppose this country is sitting at a point like A and wants to move to a point like B or it is trying to increase production of clothing by one unit. But how much does food change? It changes from five to four units. And we can calculate opportunity cost of clothing as four minus five change in food divided by change in production of clothing. And when you solve for this, we have negative one as the answer. And for the moment, let's just forget about the last column. Now the firm is sitting at a point like B and wants to move to a point like C. What this country has to do is it will increase production of clothing from one to two units. And what will happen to production of food? It will fall from four to three units. And so it will be three minus 4 divided by 2 minus 1 and this will give us negative 1 and in this way we go on calculating opportunity cost of clothing at different points. Here is a cleaner version of the production possibility schedule where and here I've written down opportunity cost of clothing at each at all these production choices when you move from one point to another. And here what you find is opportunity cost of clothing is a negative number. And this number is fixed as well. And negative sign simply indicates that you give up something in order to gain something. Here is the PPC that has been drawn on based on the information we had in the production possibility schedule. And on the previous slide, we calculated opportunity cost of clothing, which is simply change in food divided by change in clothing. Now look at the following. We have clothing on the horizontal axis and food on the vertical axis. And so when you divide change in food by change in clothing, what you will get 
is not just opportunity cost of clothing, but also the slope of the PPC. Or in other words, the slope of the PPC is the same thing as opportunity cost of the good on the x-axis. And in this case, it happens to be clothing. On the previous table, what you have, what we have found is opportunity cost of clothing stays the same all throughout. So whether you are at point A, B, C, D, or E, or F, the opportunity cost of clothing is negative 1. And opportunity cost of clothing is the same thing as slope of PPC. So why do we have a negative sign associated with opportunity cost? Simply because the production possibilities curve is downward sloping. And why do we have a fixed number at different points? Simply because the PPC here is a straight line. Remember, when slope is a fixed number or the value of slope is a fixed number, what we are looking at is a straight line. So if opportunity cost of clothing is constant all throughout, what you will have is a straight line PPC. What does straight line PPC mean? This is supposed to represent what we call constant opportunity cost or constant cost principle. <clears throat> Let me just type this out. Constant opportunity cost. So when you see a straight line PPC, this is what it will represent. Now let us consider different shapes of PPC. And these different types of PPC or different shapes of PPC have been used in order to explain international trade theories. The first one we have already considered, that is the constant cost principle. Here the PPC is a straight line representing constant value of slope or constant opportunity cost of clothing. And what this tells us is, as we increase production of clothing, we give up the same amount of food. Compare this to the second diagram which reflects increasing cost principle. And what is increasing cost principle? Look at the shape of this PPC. It is concave to the origin. And what this means is, as you go down this curve, the absolute value of slope of PPC increases. Or in other words, the absolute value of opportunity cost of clothing increases. When that happens, it simply means as you produce more and more clothing, you have to give up more and more food as you go on producing more and more clothing, increasing opportunity cost principle. The last one is convex to the origin or when you go down the curve, what you find is the absolute value of slope of the PPC is decreasing or the opportunity cost of clothing in an absolute sense is decreasing as well. And what this means is as you produce more and more clothing, you are willing to give up less and less amount of food. So do remember these different shapes and what do they mean? because we'll use each of these different shapes in order to study international trade theory. Another thing you should do is you try to look at some real world example where you might face constant cost principle or some example where you may face increasing or decreasing cost principle. Now we already know what is opportunity cost of clothing. It is simply change in food divided by change in clothing. Economics is very systematic. And what you find here is when you are figuring out opportunity cost of, say, clothing, clothing appears in the denominator and food appears in the numerator. 
So in a similar way, we can define opportunity cost of food. And so what will you have in the denominator? It will be change in food. And what you'll have in the numerator will be change in the other good. Now what this is telling you is opportunity cost of one good is always the inverse of the other one. These two are just inverses of one another. For example, suppose opportunity cost of clothing is given to you as negative 100. And I could ask you this question, what will be opportunity cost of food? It will be simply the inverse of 100 and that will be negative 1 by 100. Now, let us look at the following. Suppose you are given this PPC and we can call this PPC 0 and 0 represents PPC in the original situation. Suppose something happens to the economy and the PPC shifts to the left and becomes like this. And let us call this PPC 1. And what has happened here? The PPC has moved in this direction. Or this would be called a leftward shift of the PPC. And what this represents is a decrease in production choices available to this country. So when PPC shifts to the left, this would represent a decrease in production possibilities or generally speaking then just call it a decrease in PPC. Now why would this happen? When would a country start to produce less as compared to previously? One of the reasons for this could be a decrease in factors of production. That is, if you have fewer workers, fewer machines as compared to previously, you're likely to produce less. Another reason why this could happen is something I call technical regress. Technical regress is just the opposite of technical progress. So this is what would cause a leftward shift of the PPC or a decrease in production choice. So here I have written down the reasons for a leftward shift of PPC or a decrease in PPC. One is decrease in resources. And the other thing I've called is technical regress. Now, economics is very systematic. So whatever reasons you have for a leftward shift, exactly the opposite will be true for a rightward shift. So reasons for a rightward shift of PPC or an increase in PPC will be an increase in resources and also technical progress. And what technical progress does is you can produce more with the given resources. So this completes our basic discussion of PPC and we are still working our way through the fifth assumption that we need in order to understand international trade. Thank you for your time.